very good afternoon students <clears throat> this is uh, professor kv hirewadiya i'm here to teach you the theory paper education 10 that is for second semester b ed especially this is meant for english medium students method techniques and approaches of pedagogy so i'm here to teach you on uh, the unit 3 the concept is called as a teacher as a facilitator teacher as a facilitator so actually just uh, we have to glance on uh, the very uh, historical background of the teachers as a facilitators when students ask questions and uh, find answers for themselves they get involved in their own learning mind it when they are asking questions and actually they are finding answers for themselves this means they get involved in their own learning but educational see dependents known how powerful that can be for the students and the teacher so the education dependents also uh, that uh, the creating the facilitate learning environment brings challenges for the teachers first of all the teacher must adapt to a very new way of teaching by just managing more open and the discovery by the students so this means to see shifting uh, roles from the um, lecturers to a facilitator who actually provides resources monitors progress and even encourages the students uh, to problem solve so the teacher so re benefits when they see how actually this uh, existed their students how actually about the applying their knowledge to solve the same problem so second the facilitative learning requires that the student do the work however many students especially see we know that those who actually the prefer to know how to get in are uncomfortable with the open ended design of facilitate learning they are not uh, see the familiar with the projects that the require them Uh, to apply their knowledge and even problem solve so at first student can get frustrated they get frustrated so teacher must teach students to manage their own learning so the result will be a students who are more creative and able to apply their learning to life's challenges and see an added benefit is the teachers find once once actually the shift to facilitate learning is implemented so the students are very more uh, motivated in the classrooms results uh, in very fewer discipline problems so the third one is called so facilitative learning requires students to apply their knowledge across subjects and that requires teachers in different uh, see, disciplines to work together so for example teachers feel comfortable managing their own classrooms but actually sometimes may not be used to working with their peers so teachers must use facilitations skills to find positive ways of working on a single project and with the teachers in other disciplines so as a result so teachers find that working with their peers offers them more resources and ideas to share with the students in their classroom so this is about the very introduction of teacher as a facilitator so now so the teaching is the well known word for teachers so teachers know the meaning of this word and just know how to perform teaching sometimes they do not know the difference between the teaching and facilitating in learning and it makes a deep the very distance between the students and teachers so we have to understand the difference between the teaching and facilitating especially in learning because the both words are correlated with each other try right? to understand these are not actually the same but these are correlated with each other and the teaching is an activity which is helping which is helping the student in learning so in several classes teachers go to the classes teach the students supply the homework and do some daily routine activities and just finish instead of to help the students in learning or facilitate the students in learning is a just quite facilitate and just gentle concept if the teacher think that every student should be sound in the subject especially i'm telling 
if the same teacher if suppose she has or he has to think that every student should be very sound in his subject or in her subject so it is his or her duty then the teaching learning process becoming innovative active and even interesting so the teacher should become monitors and they should make students learn so teaching means teaching means the teacher is just doing the act of teaching but learning means student are doing the act of learning do you understand when it's a question of a method of learning so in the learning process of a teacher are important factors because therefore the teacher should accept and use very new learning methods so there is called active learning methodology just we are calling as active learning methodology especially in this uh, active learning methodology teacher help the students in learning thus the entire classroom environment is changed actually the active learning methodology focuses on helping in especially learning and facilitating the learning especially so the active learning methodologies include uh, several activities in classroom we just we know that uh, such as reading uh, so making mind maps and even group presentation and engaging and even the student on the whole time so active learning methodologies are very see effective to find out the students creativity and even talent so active learning methodologies are very smart methodologies very helpful to the students in learning so what actually the active learning methodology especially in the classroom way in the time? so active learning classroom method in the sense active learning classroom techniques are nothing but just you are providing very 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 smart teaching learning opportunities to teachers and even the teachers is very able to create an active learning environment in his or her class especially he has to or she has to help the students in learning in a various ways active learning methodology just i what uh, told in earlier that they are very able to make teaching very smart and easy but actually the teacher may use collaborative learning and just try to do an excitative experiment in his or her class so, so in especially in modern learning environment i'm telling in modern environment learn just we all just we see that learning is a very popular word than the teaching mind it teacher just uh, i i just told that teacher just is just going to class giving some homework or something about a class work giving a, um, some tasks and finish your work come back but learning is not like that because the, that learning is a very more popular word than the teaching because the teacher has the teacher has to understand the modern trend in teaching especially learning process because the teacher have to make learning more interesting and interactive so that the students may learn better especially for uh, qualities of a facilitator and teacher guide something you just called counselor information provider inquirer and finally facilitator try to understand he is a first being as facilitator of his teacher because he is a just guide teacher is a guide or a philosopher or a friend or any students any students teacher should guide to student enthusiastically mostly most of the time students live in school and friend of teacher therefore teacher find out which actually is a quality in our students so especially and the teacher should give opportunity to students quality so teacher can involve to students in various program in the school when actually he has to be a counselor so some problems is there of a students teacher understand and students problems even the student habit problems lack of poor achievements the frustration economical problem and uh, you are calling as a family problem teacher help the students to uh, specially come out from these problems as students in these problems as the teacher has to act as a counselor so the uh, when he has to be a information provider so the teacher should update in our subject special education system so, so around the country and around the world the teacher should understand new trend and research field of the education so the teacher announce general knowledge of our students because try to understand this is not only the question of a syllabus it's not only question of the curriculum the general knowledge is very essential part of nowadays so the teacher give information to the students especially inter school competitions as you writing education sports cultural etc etc so when he is inquirer so the teacher should inquirer in school for our students especially various background students come in our school especially some students come from slum area some students may come from rural area or some of them come from urban area and some students not come in school regularly so the teacher should inquire always to students 
so the facilitator in the sense means teacher can do important role in a school as a facilitator because the teacher facilitate to students or subject material teaching especially teacher facilitates to some some magazines newspapers motivational story books tales like any teaching aids teaching something so with this we can say that the teacher will be always as a facilitator just i conclude the same uh, chapter uh, that the teacher will be a, will be use active learning methodology so the teaching a learning specially active learning classroom techniques project based learning as the teacher will away with the facilitator's role and the teacher will improve qualities uh, of the teacher as a facilitator so teacher will think the facilitator's point of view the teacher will use the teaching strategies especially in the teaching learning process thank you very much have a nice time take care of yourself with this i conclude the concept teacher as a facilitator myself professor k virod thank you very much